All right, punters and dribblers, welcome back to the last episode of About Even for 2022. Um, it's all wrapping up. It's been a hell of a year. It's been a wild ride, emotional, ups and downs, smiles and frowns. Uh, coming to you again, thanks to our good friends at Ned's. We love Ned's, huge supporters of the show. If you bet, you take it to the Ned's level. So there's a next level, and then there's a Ned's level, which is above that, and that's what we do with Ned's, so we thank them for their support. Always gamble responsibly. Now, Eddie's still on holiday, sunning his dick. I think we mentioned last week his car got stolen, car returned safely, fellas. Yep, beautiful. Apparently almost no damage. As in they just dropped, like... No, the cops found it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Popo found it. Um, I don't know exactly what happens from here for Eddie, but literally, like, it got stolen, and then they were on a joyride, cops chasing yep. him and shit, and the cops rocked up at Eddie's, because the car was, I think, registered to the house. Yep. Yeah. So they just rocked up at Eddie and Ella's parents' house, well, Ella's parents' house, and we're like, fucking, where's Eddie Simpson? No, like, he's on holidays. <laughs> So no like context, they, just knocked on the door saying, where's Eddie? Like, <laughs> where the hell is he? We're like, we've been chasing this fucking yeah. car down the wrong side of the highway. Oh, right. Anyway. So they thought it was him. Yeah. Well, they thought it yeah. could have been yeah. him. Yeah. yeah. No. Not the point. <laughs> His car's back, though. I just wanted to give an update for those of you that don't know. Yeah. Um, now, as it is the last episode, we'll obviously be doing the uh, misters uh, for the sports, who's won the sports for this abbreviated intercontinental season. Yeah, yep. the Who, lightweight title. The lightweight, yeah, yeah, yeah it's a cruiserweight. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, it's not the big dig belt. Yep. And it may be the last time an intercontinental belt is even fought for. So it could yeah. actually have a little extra meaning in that sense. Um, but we will go through the misters, who's the ultimate champion, and we'll have some accountability from last week. Obviously, no lippy dribbler this week. No. No, they did. I mean, I don't know what they came, but... Uh, no, 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 we'll see. There's a don't. good batch of lippies in this intercontinent. There was yeah. a few good ones. The Yabby Some King's shining my favourite. Yeah. I think yeah. Yabby yeah. King's oh, my favourite. And then, then French guy who sends yeah. the rosé or the Sam, wine. Sam Asif, is Sam it? Sam Asif, yeah. yes. Yeah. Yep. Actually, did he send that? Was that one for you or was that for us? Because the wine is here. I think it was for like... The, the about team. even team. Yeah. team. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. You haven't awesome. drunk it all, have you? We yeah. haven't had it yet. <laughs> no, 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 don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> the Bondol and shit. <laughs> That's all right. It's not Big Day Is it Bondol? Right. Yeah, he sent Bondol. It is yeah, Bondol. Yeah, yeah, there yeah. we go. <laughs> I've been reunited after yeah, yeah, more right. than a decade. Yeah, no, yeah. we should really we should enjoy that. What are you doing after this? <laughs> <laughs> um, so, let's just go through a little bit of last week and how we went and how that sees us uh, into... Um, the misters now it just as I quickly run my eye over it, it's <laughs> yeah. pretty fucking lean. Pretty awful. Yeah. Look, if you're like I know I don't know what the saying is, but like betting on rugby league teams when you don't have the odds in front of you and the game's on at three a.m. or ODIs, like it's just too hard to get a a, a good like punting feel. Like mm-hmm. you know how sometimes you lose feel like in a sport, yeah. you yeah. you know. I feel you lose feel sometimes when there's uh, when it's not in your time zone. Yeah, yeah, it's difficult. Yeah, it can be very difficult. I think as well, like you're you're only partially engaged in even yeah. just the news and the content yeah. around it. Whereas like, and maybe it's the international vibe for yeah. like a rugby league World Cup where you're like, I don't know who the fucking team's going to be every week because there's yeah. like so many good players there. You could pick anyone. Yeah, and you you lose all juju. You say like your circadian rhythms yeah. aren't with. Your circadian. <laughs> That's um, exactly with- what I was going to say too. Um, but yeah, I feel like I f- you want to put on a bet like usually an hour before the game, get a gauge of the team list, and then you watch the game. Yep. And it's more exciting. Whereas like I'd woke up on Sunday morning and told my girlfriend to read out the try scorers because I just didn't want to see a score yeah. or anything yeah. like that. What was the score first up? 30-10. Bang. Who scored? And then he, she runs through and goes, oh, shit. Well, fuck there that. Yeah, we Fuck that. Sometimes fuck that. Well, I'm going back to bed. Was, yeah. yeah. I'm asleep. I couldn't even remember what my bets were. <laughs> now... We'll get to, to back at the back end of the show, just you know, what the summer of no of like what the punting summer looks like. But the Rugby League World Cup final, Australia defeats Samoa thirty to ten. None of us get up. All of us had thirteen plus, or the you, uh, Seba, you had minus eighteen and a half. Yeah. How many people got done by Josh? Was it just me who got done by Joshy Carr? No, I got done by Joshy Carr. But you didn't have Whiten as well. I didn't yeah. have Whiten yeah, either. So that's not. So a, well, no, that's sorry. not just a Joshy. No, yeah, sorry, yeah, not yeah. just a Joshy. Like Carr. just a Joshy yeah. Carr away. I'm talking. Well, I think that's the fucking. <laughs> That's your yeah, first, right? That's it. That's it. It's back on. It's yeah, back yeah, on you now. Fucked us. But yep. I'm claiming the worst beat of all time because Angus cried and ball rolling in the end goal. All he had to do was put it down, and he dropped it over the line. And that 
had a massive consequence, like a ripple ripple effect on the entire Intercontinental Cup because I, I put the W in the uh, system to see what would happen if, well, if that no, was. No, and, uh, no. I'm well, just okay. saying, would have well, been, well, well, been a closer battle. Well, we know <laughs> Rando, not the Intercontinental Champion, based on that. Right. Uh, I will right. say this, though, knowing where I sat, mm. the, 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 the scarcity of victories for anyone. Anyway, we'll move on and we'll see in a second. ODI, Australia defeat England. I had Marnus top run score. He was shit. Rando, you had England to win. They didn't. Sebo, Smith top runs. I was about four. Four, four runs. That's unlucky. Yeah, yeah. yeah like, That's unlucky. And, and not yeah. out as well. Not out. Not out. Like, it was there for the Who taking. got top Oz runs? Uh, I think it was... Warner. Or Travis Head. Warner or Travis Head got Warner. 86 or something, yeah. Yeah. I thought Smith got 94, or was that no, the second? No, he didn't get the 90. No, he didn't hit the 90s. He got 80 uh, or something. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. Because I was following I it closely, 94. too. That's fucking bizarre. We humped him last night. Yeah. That yeah. was good shit. I really liked that. Um, and then Cam Green, man of the match. None of us. None of us know what the fuck we're talking about, it would seem. In the golf. Yep. Uh... All of us shat the bed, basically. Fuck! <laughs> Jason Day shot like a plus seven on the first day or something. Great. There goes me and Eddie. Yeah. Um, really? Jason Day's <laughs> trending in the right direction, isn't he? Oh, trending God. in the right direction, all right. Oh, um, but he won some pip money, believe it or not. Pip. Um, the oh, player that- impact program. So, like, they get a list of, like, the 20 golfers who move the needle for golf the most. It's basically a way of them to give them money to keep him on the PGA Tour. So, like, yeah. Tiger yeah. gets number one. Please don't yeah. leave don't money. Go yeah. to live. Yeah. Please don't go. <laughs> a bit like Jason Day getting, like, you know, a couple mil coming, like, 18th or something. You're like For pit money. For pit money. That's such yeah. horse yeah. shit. Fucking 18th. Like, was he moving the needle? Come, no, get that's what I'm like. Why is, over? Yeah, exactly. But, anyway, Jason shat the bed. Seamus did go well. So, Rando's little uh, thing of it marrying the course. What was the other? The course? Bermuda yeah, one. Bermuda yeah. course. I mean, that goes pretty well. Would he come third, fourth, fifth, yeah. something? Like, yeah, fifth. Yeah, T10, T20. Fifth, yep, T10, T20. Yeah. I think Seamus hasn't let anyone down when you bet on him. You won. I or won on got, him. Yep. And then you've, you've got at least a T10, T20 yeah. stolen yeah. off me, and that's okay. Uh, you had the chance to put it in, but How you did didn't. How did Keith Mitchell <laughs> go? I didn't uh, follow Keith shocking. I think shocking he like. kind of finished around T30, 40. Fucking hell, Keith. Yeah. yeah, so he wasn't up there at all you know at what? any that's, point. That's, that seems it was one of those ones where we just were like, Pretty much out of the yeah. gates. Like all of us except Seamus, we're just done for. Never yeah. heard of the winner either, Adam Svensson. Yeah, he's been around a bit. bit Svensson. Uh, there's Svensson. been a lot of international. Bit of Nordic winning. vibes yeah. to him. Yeah. Yeah. Canadian, actually. Is he? Yeah, Canadian. Canadian. Well, well he's a Canadian he'd have flag Nordic on the Google. heritage, that motherfucker. Yeah. There's no way you're coming from. So put Svensson. a fucking. <laughs> yeah, I mean, these golf events, fuck me. Yeah, man. these are like, horse shit golf events. Yeah, yeah they're horse Because what um, PGA have done to try combat live is like make elevated events where there's like way more money and way more point world ranking points and offer. So all the big dogs just... Go well, for those. Yeah, they'll just mark them in their calendar and these fucking things. Well, if you could so. do us a favour and mark them in our calendar as well, so I know which ones I fucking should care about. Um, but, yeah, look, the golf, obviously not great there. Uh, our unit scoopers, unfortunately, no one getting up there. No. Uh, Eddie had Fox hat trick. That was a joke. Uh, I had Tom Hogg or Hoge to win. Hogan. That obviously didn't happen. Um, Rando, you had a fucking shocker. You well, like to be fair, I did get a World Cup line. That was my only winner. Yeah. So, you know what? Redeemed. Uh, redeemed. <laughs> <laughs> redeemed. And then Sebo, you know what, dude? A Whiten and Joshy Carr away from... Like, yep. that's not bad. It's actually pretty good, yours. Yeah. Australia, what is it to read it out there? We had Australia at the line minus 18.5, then Joshy Carr and Jack Jack Whiten, but then I had Eagles Chiefs uh, to win and England to win the soccer. So it would have been okay. Like, Joshy Carr, like, just pretend Joshy Carr happened because it should have happened. Should've. It really is just a Jack Whiten. You are a Jack Whiten. Yeah, yeah. Jack Whiten. Yeah. In truth, you were just a Jack Whiten. <laughs> yeah. Because you, yeah, Addo Car scored. <laughs> Yeah, I'm happy to give you yeah. Addo Car. Yeah, in a yeah, he did. Which score. would give yeah. me Addo Car, which means I was only a white and away as well on my bet. Makes a lot of sense. Kitchen sink multi. Well, fuck. Actually, the lippies, the lippies, Lippy got close. The lippies unit scooper got very close. Just a silly bet of Josh Papali to score. Yeah. If he had any, if he had anyone like Cried or Toto, yeah, it would have been good. England to beat Iran. Netherlands to beat Senegal. Papali to score, and then Max. Maxi V. Max Verstappen. Max Verstappen to win. 
Yeah, I mean, but those other three legs would be paying about sure, a dollar. Yeah, 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 yeah. You'd be paying fuck all. Yeah. That's a good point, Sebo. Thank you, Sebo. Now, kitchen sink. Pathetic. There was a winner there. There was. <laughs> there was. And it's paying a dollar fifty. Which to be honest, within the kitchen sink multi, that's actually I mean, good. you guys I was going through the list and you guys were winning kitchen sink multis off a dollar twenty James yeah. Tedesco and Josh had a car try, so yeah. Look, I'll yeah, take he went, it. Yeah, no, he went back to he did some research there and he knows that <laughs> I've got well. uh, yeah, I've got it all. He's got all the Kept my receipts. Down. <laughs> Smart. Dollar fifty, well done, Rando. That's the only bet that anyone's got <laughs> yep. this week. Yep. So you can tell it's limping I'm into the silly <laughs> season, can't you? I think I've avoided a donut for like almost the entire year. I got quite a few of my early the you know, the year, early last career. year yeah. early career, but yeah, way to way to finish it. Mm. The big mm. fucking donut. Yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? But I started I started to feel the magic disappearing like at Melbourne Cup. I yeah. feel like I really was like, Oh fuck, like any sort of fluke shit going on in my life? has now been pounded away at the Melbourne Cup and it's now transferred into this. So, yeah. there we go. <laughs> well, there we go. Rando, weekly results, please. Um, on top, uh, yours truly, uh, three out of seven uh, plus 3.39 units. You're only as good as your last punting week, as I always say. Uh, next up is Tom, uh, 0-7 minus 6.58. <laughs> Eddie, uh, 0 and 6, minus 6.96 units. Then Sebo, 0 and 7, minus 7.61. And Lippy, 0 and 6, minus 7.72. That is grim. fucking <laughs> grim. Dude. Yeah. That is grim as it gets. Um, I will say this, and I mean no disrespect to the intercontinental title, but like. It's kind of like a pre-tournament tournament where, you know, like you're out there, you're testing out some trick plays and yes. seeing what you can do. But yeah. like when the big, I did have a testy pop then as well, I'm not going to deny it. But when it gets to the big the big guns, you know, like the main heavyweight yeah. title, that's when yeah. you really start and have a crack. 100%. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. It's almost like, yeah, if WrestleMania is the main belt, then this yeah. is like... SummerSlam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's there and it's like even the pre-show to SummerSlam. Yeah, you know? right. It's <laughs> like <laughs> washed up Slam, yeah. wrestlers like Sh- Sergeant Slaughter and shit are coming in for one <laughs> yeah, more yeah, little, yeah, you know, yeah, parade them around. Yeah. It's NXT. <laughs> Now, can we get to the misters? <laughs> this is going to be embarrassing. <laughs> uh, the misters. Who's won what? Who's done what in the different sports that we have done? Starting with Mr. Rugby League. Yeah. Uh, the big one. Uh, it is Tommy. He gets Mr. Rugby League wow. with a whopping two out of 16 <laughs> bets. But oh, they were big know. bets, to be fair. Um, and he gets minus 0.09 units. Then in second place, Eddie... Um, two out of twelve uh, minus zero point nineteen units, and myself two out of sixteen minus four point six eight. Definitely a bit more conservative with my bets. Sebo one out of sixteen minus eight point nine five, and the Lippy coming in dead last uh, with one out of twelve minus ten point nine eight units. Okay, great. So what not one of us has gone up. <laughs> no one. No, at I all. won with minus zero point zero nine units. All right, we are a fucking awful. The golf. <laughs> Uh, with the golf, Tommy again takes the championship with his Seamus Power bet, um, taking him over the line. Uh, four out of 15, plus 1.02 there we units. Go, I'm up. The Lippy, surprising second, Pip Sebo, four out of 12, minus 2.31. He loses. Mr. Golf Sebo, three out of 15, minus 3.84. Then Eddie, one out of 12, minus 12.8. Oh, sorry. Me, fourth. I don't know why I got that mixed up, um, especially because it's me. Uh, yeah. Three out of 15, minus 8.26 units. And then Eddie, dead last, one out of 12, minus 12.85. Okay. All right, now on to the UFC. <sighs> Once again, it is Tom taking out the UFC. Uh, one out of four, minus four, 0.59 <laughs> units. And Sebo next up. Also one out of four this months. This so was like a grim, submission. Dude. This is <laughs> this so is terribly grim. grim. Yeah. Um, and this, this was like on one bet as well. Yeah. Like submission, I think it was for um, Islam against um, Oliveira. Oliveira, uh, as well. yeah. yeah. Uh, minus 0.75 units. Eddie, one out of four, minus 4.20 units. And then myself and Lippy. 0-4, oh uh, Lippy just beating me with minus 5.6 units. Oh, my God. Didn't so. you know I get two UFC bets, though? Because I got the subby. No, and so there was there was a wrong... This is the controversial thing that has set you and me back, is that I'm not going to name who did it that week because it wasn't me. It was another person who usually sits here mm. who were doing the results and gave us the win. We had Oliviera submission, yeah. but it wasn't a win, but Eddie put us down for a win. Oh, yeah. Wait, so we didn't actually we win. Didn't actually we win. didn't actually win. I was going through the results and I was like, wait a minute, how did... 
both of these get up, and then I realised that. Oh, I thought yeah. I thought I got a subby win as well. Yeah. No, so my first UFC bet was knocking out. That was last week. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. that was last so week. So I didn't. Yeah. I didn't get a UFC bet before that. Yeah. No. Right. Okay. Yeah. All good. All good. All good. Just, just clarifying. Know. Jesus Christ. Yeah. This is very controversial. I'm just trying Huge to get any fucking scrap fucking I can get. Like yeah. It, oh, I was trying to too. Yeah. I was double checking everything. Give me something. Triple checking. Give me something. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, we now go on to Mr. Cricket, and. The Lippies get up here for wow. Mr. Cricket. Uh, I think they hit that, um, I think it was an England or yeah, a pack of England. Yeah, a big one. Yeah, a it huge a big one. one. Um, minus two, uh, sorry, two out of five, plus 7.13 units. Sebo closely behind, two out of five, plus 3.16 units. You love your cricket. You love you know it. it. The Greeks, mate, Greeks we are an emerging cricket, nation. Yeah. Watch out for us I in the next 20 World Cup. <laughs> Rando, one out of five, minus 2.14. And then Eddie and Tom, Eddie, 0 and 3, minus 2.34 units. And Tom, 0 and 5, minus yeah. 4.08 units. Yeah, I was close to a monster one there, though, so I'm not too disappointed. Yeah, but in the end... This is this next one, one is this is the most ridiculous. Can uh, you read this out? Because I'm yeah, just yeah, too no, embarrassed no, no, now. No, no, well. So, <laughs> Mr. Horse Racing, yours truly. <laughs> but I will say that... To earn the title of Mr. Horse Racing, <laughs> not one of us has got a single bet right. So we're all yeah. 0 and oh. 2. My bet was just <laughs> it was just better. Uh, so I uh, I am minus eight uh, minus uh, 0.81 units. Eddie minus uh, uh, sorry minus 1.7. Lippy minus 1.7. Sebo minus 1.75. Rando minus 1.9. I mean, to even have a Mr's category, though, I feel you need at least five bets on the thing. You know what I mean? Well, okay. Zero Look, out of two bets. You do, you're trying to take yeah. one off me. I just wanted to give Tom, yeah. <laughs> Tom the moment he I'm deserves. Happy to, I'm happy to – I think I did deserve the moment, but I am, I'm gracious as well, so I'm happy to concede that being called Mr. Ponies when – Mr. Conservative Ponies as well. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Conservative They two were probably two ponies. favourites. <laughs> you would think so. Um, okay. To the unit scoopers now – and Mr. Rando, you've taken out the unit scoops with plus 5.13 uh, units, one from six. I'm second, minus 1.4. Eddie, minus five in third. Sebo, minus six in fourth. And Lippy, minus, or equal fourth, minus six. And I don't know if you should claim that one for the unit scooper because that's when all the players that you chose were out and it was just Matt Burton to score. So that was your unit <laughs> scooper for that one. Well, that was nice. It was a nice little... I needed it. I needed it clearly. Kitchen sink. Sibbo. Oh, got one, did I? <laughs> there we go. Back to where I belong yeah. as well. Yeah. I'm, I'm usually... My, my territory normally is the, the kitchen the locks. sink. Yeah. Um, yeah, the locks. You want to be able to be and positive it, yeah. on the locks. It hurt me during the last main championship rugby league uh, mm. season that I got second in the kitchen sink. Yeah. Uh, so it's good to be back first. I, I try to do my best to pick the safe legs for the multi. Mm, yeah. Well, you got a, a plus 0.58 units. Fantastic. So and all three of them were at Ocar two or more. Three <laughs> yeah, they're all Josh right. Car. Eddie, one from five, minus three, uh, 3.04. Rando, one from six, minus 4.5. And me, one from six, minus 4.58. I thought I hit more kitchen sinks than that. That's really disappointing. I'm not going to be a Seb and fucking ask to like dig <laughs> through the archives, but I swear I did. Would it shock me if I'm wrong? No, it wouldn't. <laughs> the final standings, punters and dribblers, the final standings for this absolutely, uh, you know, historic. <laughs> <laughs> it's like uh, AFL X, I feel. Yeah, like. yeah, it's yeah, a one yeah, time yeah. show. It was yeah, great that yeah. it happened, but let's, but, not, you know, let's, not, let's not necessarily do it again. <laughs> uh, I am the Intercontinental Champion. Yeah. Two yep. time. Two yeah. time now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two yep. time. I now hold three belts. But I wouldn't even say this is an intercontinental. Well, like it's a yeah. lightweight. It's a cruiserweight. Yeah, okay, whatever. I'm a three belt This holder. is a crash holly, the hurricane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spike. Uh, Perry <laughs> Satin. <laughs> Perry Satin. <laughs> this is a Perry Satin fucking. Yeah, 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 yeah this yeah. is moppy. You know what I mean? Yeah. If you're, yeah. Again, we're probably yeah. aging some people yeah. out of this, but it's it's... It's not the title yep. that everyone covers. But well it's an done. Title. Well done. A, so a, wins uh, a win. Yeah, I'm uh, down. I'm minus twelve point two seven for the win. Lippy comes second. Go Lippy. Minus eighteen point eight. Uh, Rando third minus nineteen point five six. Sebo fourth minus twenty three point eight four. And Eddie 
as per usual, dead fucking last, <laughs> minus 27.45. That's back-to-back losses for that loser. One uh, one bet every eight bets he makes. One win after every eight bets. Yeah, he's so fucking, fucking, awful. fucking he's terrible. Fucking awful. Just doesn't get it. Um, so that's that. Obviously, we, we left the glitter cannons uh, at home for this sort of award. I think you saved that for a heavyweight title, not yeah. for a hardcore Holly fucking... Crash, Comp, Crash Holly. Crash Holly, whatever the fuck his name is. I think he was, wasn't there a Hardcore Holly? Yeah, hard, Hardcore Holly and Crash Holly. Oh, and they're yeah, both right. like peroxide blonde hair. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah the yeah. Crash was significantly shitter. Well, no. Even though Hardcore No, no, no. Shit. Wasn't he the... Oh, I'm thinking Spike Dudley, so. <laughs> um, so that's that. That's another season in the books. We'll be back with Rugby League. I, there is the preseason tournament, so it might be back oh, a yeah. bit earlier. When's that happening? Uh, I think it might be in February, but they were saying, I'm pretty sure you can bet on it now. Like the, 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 the bookies will what shit will have odds. is the difference between that and trials? Is it going to be like a... No, it's preseason trials, but they're going to have it as like you can bet on the games, testy pops, and I think yeah. it's maybe more competitive. Or is there a preseason comp, Toblox? There's also... Oh, yeah, when I hear no. tournament, I'm here, I'm thinking, <laughs> is there like a, a knockout? Because remember they used to do the nines and like the winner would get like a million bucks or a hundred grand yeah. or whatever to go to the club. Like it's Very different numbers, but yes. That was a bit of fun. Yeah. You know, yeah if there's yeah, an actual yeah. tournament with the prize, not just like here's Rabbitohs, Bees versus, you know, Dragons, Bees. Mm. Yeah. If it's a little bit more of a... For some, I'm pretty sure there's a fucking tournament on it. At least they were talking about it. I've no, heard it mentioned. They've, they've just like, obviously the 17 teams, so they've just incorporated St. Helens who are coming over and they will just play in the... It's like a round robin, but you do earn money if you win all your games. Or so there is like, like there a is a, there is like yeah. So they you know how they put out like a ladder. Um, I don't know NRL roast or someone just did some silly ladder at the end of the preseason. I think it's dead set off that you win money cool. for scoring the most tries or mm. whatever. Um, all right, they're trying to yeah. yeah so there's a bit of fun to it, is what I'm yeah, trying yeah. To, but also 100%. I'll be able to gamble on it. Oh, the, that's what yeah, I want to know. The betting know. agencies to are going to win what some. I'm doing. Yeah. And a bit of gambling in Feb when it's still fucking hot. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like hot weather gambling, rugby league. Yeah. 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 Because now, and that's sort of what I was mentioning at the start, I don't know, like, obviously I'm going to continue hunting responsibly this off-season. But it is sort of like World Cup, soccer. Again, it's that time zone thing where I'm not going to be as horny for it. Mm. Cricket, your first ball markets, I don't think you can have in Australia. And also, like... You either do your first ball market, but unless, like, even a T20 is too long, like, the the, the, the ideal gambling thing is, like, it's like a max two-hour event, right? Yeah. So, like, if you are doing a result, it's like something that will start and end when you, you know, you go into the pub or something. Yeah, 100%. It's on in the TV in the background. Yeah. yeah. And you can just kind of sit there, feel the kind of sun on you, smell a bit of sunscreen yeah. salt, and you win some cash. That's oh, right. 100%. You know what I mean? And. I wish, like, there's this, it's almost like the big problem with the world is that the best gambling in the history of the world is rugby league gambling. Yes. Mm. But then the, when that's at its best, it's the sun goes down at 5 yeah. p.m. It's cold. Like, I would love one day, somehow, 8 p.m. We, like, what we need summer. is a World Cup in Australia. Yeah. We need a rugby yeah. league World Cup yeah. in Australia. Oh, 100%. And if it was being played, you know, last weekend, the final, you'd have some hot yeah. weather punting. Yeah. But look. But maybe this Feb thing will get us close. The Feb yes. thing will sort us out. You can still have a bit of a, uh, a bit of a go on, like, NBA is a nice oh, one. Yeah. First basket markets. There's a dribbler oh, in Jesus, the About yeah. Even Facebook page who's putting up, like, first goal. First, first basket, basket. First uh, basket yeah. markets. And I'm like, I can get around that shit. Yeah. That's a bit of fun. That's yeah. dribbly. Um, and, you know. Uh, wicket takers, run scorers in the cricket. Yeah, yeah. run scorers are always good. Run scorers yeah. are good. Over and under. Love if it. If you had Adam Zampa, four wickets, I mean, that would have been paying nice last night. Who knows? But that's 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 what we've got to look forward to, punters and dribblers, for the summer months. But that's us for 2022. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks, everyone uh, who's been involved, all the lippy dribblers, all of that shit. Thank you very much to Neds for your support. We love you, Neds. We love you. And we do take it to the Neds level, but we do do it responsibly. The Neds group is still open and there will be a few things where we'll jump in there and there are some developments coming with that Neds group that are going to be very cool. Hopefully we're going to have a code that is a little bit easier to remember because right now it's one that's like, it's like, a, yeah. it's like a geek's password, yeah, you know Bitcoin what I mean? Bitcoin, Bitcoin, Bitcoin yeah, beep, yeah. Beep, beep, don't lose your wallet. <laughs> uh, so one, if we can get a cool, uh, uh, you know, an easier code to join, that will also be good. But keep an eye out. We'll keep ripping and tearing until next year. Bye-bye. See ya. See ya. Fuck Eddie.